What's going on NDM crew? Welcome back to another video. Today we're working on the Datsun. It is day nine. We got pretty much everything we need here to finish up the rear end. We got the calipers, we have the new axle that's back from Techno Toy Tuning. So everything was sent out. They had to make some adjustments, send it back to us. We're good to go. We're gonna try putting this on and hopefully we don't have any issues. But we're just gonna see how far we can get. We're just gonna go and we're just gonna freaking give her for a couple hours and we're gonna see what the outcome is. So let's just dive right in. I don't think that's in. No, it's not in. No, I don't think it's lined up. Is what I meant to say. Oh yeah, this is what you had to do last time. Eh? You had to like contort yourself like a demon. 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 <laughs> is that a demon? Oh, uh, yeah. I think it's gotta go up more your end. <laughs> like, yeah, like that. It won't go up. No, 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 this end, so it's, you're not, yeah, like that, so you're actually pushing it in straight. <sighs> Do we have a mallet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Is it even going? Hold no. on, I have to get better leverage. Yeah, you need to hit it harder. I have to stand around you like this. And then fucking... Oh, it's going! Come on, it's in! It's in! Oh my god. Now, the worst feeling ever though is gonna be if we try and get everything else to fit in <laughs> and it doesn't fit still. Oh, it's much better than before. Is it hitting still? No. I don't think so. The bottom bolt can go in. Okay, so let's get the bottom bolt and then we'll... I think it's just gonna come up higher. This isn't in all the way, that's probably why. Oh, that? <gasps> oh yeah, that's not gonna go in all the way. We may need to take the axle nut off the other side, use it to pull the side in. Remember? Oh, did we have to do We that? had to pull this in, yeah, because it's too tight. Okay. So let's, let's get the that. one nut started here. The one okay, okay. Side. Which way does this, this goes this way? Yeah, that's what I did on the other side. Because then you can't because this drive shaft, or this CV shaft is in the way. It's, it was tight on the other side, actually. There. Little bell? Yeah. Oh my god, boys, did you just hear that? It's Look at that. Look at this. That thing is in there. Fuck you. That's what we've been waiting for this whole time. The most inclimactic part of the build gives, gives me the most joy. Oh yeah. Yeah, we gotta right. bend back. <laughs> All right, I think we're good to go here now. All right, guys, we're just gonna tighten everything up and then we'll tighten start the doing the brakes. So the suspension is pretty much buttoned up in the rear. Anthony's just finishing off the passenger side. So pretty much what we had to do um, to make sure that the coil over here, oh, sh there's no light. To make sure the coil over could molt, bolt to the backing plate here. So the, using this bolt and the bolt down there, um, we had to adjust the actual control arm just slightly so we had to push the actual track of the car out just slightly. So what we're doing on this side now is we're just making sure that, this is very rough measurements, but we're just making sure that the amount that we've taken and pushed out on the driver's side is matching on the passenger side. Just so we don't have any issues. Um, again, this car is gonna have to go through a full alignment, but just kinda to make sure that it's close, we're just taking some time to making sure that uh, it's uh, it, it'll be good for now. Um, now we're going to start butting up the brakes. Anthony's gonna do this side, I'm gonna set up a time lapse for you guys here. I have to clean up the brake hardware for the driver's side and it's not really all that complicated to see me cleaning some things. So we'll set up a time lapse here so you guys can get the gist of how these brakes are gonna go together. Thank you. 
hold it at the right tightness. Or else it might come loose. Come on, baby. Back. It's fucking killing me already. Is it? Yeah. Take a roll back to set. That will make everything all better. So we got that dongle in. All right, guys. So we got the one side done, the driver's side. Uh, we learned a lot. We're making our way onto the pasture side now. I think the biggest hurdle we run in, ran into is that little thing right there. This little thing right here. This guy. Um, so ultimately, for whatever reason, it didn't really fit through the backing plate, whether there was um, the powder coating that came from Techno Toy. So we ended up having to just shave it down just a little bit to get it f to fit, and then we could put everything back together. Um, so that was what we're doing now. We're moving on and then we'll see how far we can get ultimately if we get this side done uh, Which we think we will We'd, we shouldn't run into any issues at this point, but just fingers crossed um, We got to adjust the e-brake underneath the car all those brackets and things that we made to kind of customize and make the e-brake from the 300 ZX all those cables fit on the Datsun here We have to kind of just fine-tune that to make sure it works then we're gonna bleed the brakes, we can put the wheels on, and hopefully if we can get to it, we can bring the car down and kind of see how it sits, what the height is at, and go from there. It's gonna be the first time that the car has been on the ground in six months, so it's gonna be awesome. So that's the goal for today, and we'll see how far we can get. Start it, or not? No, nothing. Look how easy it was to pull it down. You got probably about four or five inches of slack on that cable. Has to be. Or it's not connected inside the car. Is it not connected inside? Because like I pulled the thing right up like with a pinky. Like it should be really hard. Yeah. Pull on the uh the e brake? The e brake. I wanna see what happens. You see what it's doing? Release? Ah, it's doing fucking nothing. Springs, everything? Yeah, it's a full kit. It comes with shocks, springs, upper, lower uh, A-arms, and sway bars and all the bushings. Oh, of course it would. I'm curious to see how this thing's gonna fucking drive. Me. Oh my god, dude. It's gonna be crazy. <clears throat> this is, would you consider this a resto mod now? Yeah. I don't know what this would be classified as. I don't think the, the paint is still... in good enough shape. The engine is. No, a resto what... mod means when you uh, restore it and you put like good modern shit, shit underneath. Oh, so yeah, I guess so then. And yeah, then yeah. You have to do the engine too though in order for it to be a full resto. Well, the mod. engine, look, it's mint. No, well, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm saying you have to put like a modern engine. Yeah, in. you're right. Cause like when that we, was originally the goal with this car, but they had a bunch of resto mod cars at uh, Not the auto show this year. Oh yeah? yeah. All right, guys. So we're just butting up this butting. Can't, can't speak. We're just buttoning up the passenger side rear brakes. We actually took a little bit of a break to get the e brake kind of working. So uh, it's a weird situation. I'll kind of show you here if I can. So ultimately, the e brake works and it gets tight, but you got to pull it all the way straight up. And it's, fully adjusted. and it's fully adjusted as tight as it can go. So the only way that we could make that tighter is if we make new brackets. So I don't really feel like making new custom brackets for underneath the car because it goes above the diff. So it's just going to be almost impossible to change now that the diff is in the car. So it may have to just stay the way it, way it is. As long as it holds the weight of the car, I'm not really too worried about it. Um, yeah, as long as it functions the way it should, I'm not really worried that it, it's 90 degree up. It's kind of whatever, custom. But uh, we'll finish this side off and bleed the brakes and we'll see if we can bring it, the car down. I don't know if we'll get to that. Anthony, are we going to get to that today? No. No? I said I don't know. Oh. We'll see. Alright guys, we're just bleeding the brakes right now. We're going to start with the passenger rear furthest away from the uh, reservoir 
Um, and then we're going to move our way back to the driver's side rear, then come up to the passenger side front, and then finish off with the driver's side front. We're using this little vacuum bleeder. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but using this vacuum bleeder, I picked it up from Amazon for really cheap. Um, and it seems to be working so far, so can you see any in there? we'll see. Oh. Very hard to tell. Yeah, there's some coming in the container. Yeah? Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna call it a day there. We got the brakes bled, everything is good. We didn't have enough time to drop the car down, but that will be in the next video, so stay tuned for that. There's not much we have to do. It's a lot of fine tuning and buttoning up now. The weather's starting to warm up, so it's gonna be perfect timing to get this car on the road. We can't wait to take this thing for the first rip and friggin' send it. We're done, we're gonna go get some poke, we're gonna munch hard. We'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys wanna see more, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when all the videos come out. Peace out, and stay classy, crew. Woo! <laughs>